Photosynthesis power finally hit the market. We are all familiar with the process of photosynthesis. We've all heard about it in school. This natural mechanism used by chlorophyll-based organisms, such as plants, algae, and bacteria, is responsible for the existence of life on our planet. However, did you know that photosynthesis could be utilized to create electricity or power various devices? When it comes to today's superior technology, nothing appears to be impossible. We're here to tell you about the photosynthesis power that recently hit the markets. Today, the world continues to rely significantly on fossil fuels, even subsidizing them. Meanwhile, the pollution they produce has hit new highs, ranging from climate-damaging greenhouse gases to health-endangering particulates. And when anything goes awry, such as the terrifying global warming, the ramifications are devastating. This is where renewable energy comes into the scene. Renewable energy has grown at a higher rate than all other energy sources since 2011. In 2020, renewable energy set even another milestone. With installed power capacity increasing by more than 256 gigawatts, the highest growth ever, renewable energy already accounts for more than 29% of our power. And this number is steadily increasing. It's clear that the clean energy's growth is inevitable. As figures from the International Energy Agency show, they accounted for over half of all new power production capacity built in 2014, making them the world's second largest source of electricity after coal. According to the International Energy Agency, global electricity consumption will have climbed by 70% by 2040, with its percentage of final energy usage growing from 18-24% to over the same time, owing mostly to the expanding economies of India, China, Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. But relying on non-renewable energies is pretty dangerous. That's why the world is considering different renewable energies to save the planet. There are different kinds of renewable energy, but there is another really interesting technology, biophotovoltaics. Biophotovoltaics is a relatively new outcome in the realm of microbial studies. The main principle of this technology is photosynthetic organisms gathering light energy and converting it to electrical energy. The extraction of electrons from photosynthetic microorganisms, like algae and their transport to the anode, are critical in this process. Because of its high growth rate and capacity to be grown in wastewater or wasteland, algae is thought to be a promising source of renewable energy. Several businesses and government organizations are attempting to lower capital and operational costs to make algal fuel production economically feasible. When compared to other crops and plants, algae are the quickest growing and have the potential to generate more oil or biomass per acre. However, to completely comprehend the environmental impact of algal-based biofuels, the energy efficiency ratio, as well as the carbon and water footprint of algal-based biofuels, must be examined. Algae, as you might know, requires light to create energy through photosynthesis. Unlike traditional solar cells, algae continue to create electricity in the dark for at least a short time. To survive naturally occurring times of darkness, the algae are thought to store energy during the day and release it at night. While the use of algae in this fashion is unique, it is part of a burgeoning field of biophotovoltaics. But the new idea is to tap into the energy provided by living microorganisms that transform light into electricity spontaneously through photosynthesis. We'll have to be really inventive with our energy sources as the number of electronic gadgets expands. That's why a breakthrough invention has come to light. Researchers from Cambridge have now proven an algal energy harvester can utilize sunlight to run a microprocessor for more than a year without the need for human intervention. Scientists have developed a biophotovoltaic energy harvesting system based on Cynocystis, a photosynthetic blue-green algae that can power an ARM Cortex M0 Plus microcontroller, which is commonly used in Internet of Things applications. What's the Internet of Things? We'll explain. The Internet of Things, or IoT, is a network of interconnected computing devices, mechanical and digital machinery, items, animals, and people with unique identities and the ability to transfer data without needing human-to-human -human or human-to-computer contact. Organizations across a wide range of sectors are increasingly turning to IoT to improve operational efficiency, better understand consumers, to provide better customer service, improve decision-making, and boost the value of their businesses. However, to power the network of electronic gadgets known as the Internet of Things, sustainable, inexpensive, and decentralized sources of electrical energy are necessary. 
The power consumption of a single Internet of Things device is low, but the number of IoT devices has already surpassed the billions mark and is predicted to reach 1 trillion by 2035, necessitating a large array of portable energy sources. But its batteries are made up mostly of costly and non-renewable resources such as rare earth elements, and their charge ultimately depletes. On the other hand, existing energy harvesters such as sun, temperature and vibration are more long-lasting, but they may have negative environmental consequences. But this new research has come to the rescue. Cambridge University researchers have developed a prototype computer that is powered by photosynthetic algae. The researchers erected a metal box the size of a AA battery and locked in a widespread species of blue-green algae. Rather than relying on typical batteries or solar power, the algae are photosynthesized, allowing the device to create a small current of electricity that powers the ARM Cortex M0 Plus computer within. It's also worth mentioning that the algae-powered computer continued to work for another six months after the formal testing was completed. Joint senior author of the paper, Professor Christopher Howe, said in a press release, The growing Internet of Things needs an increasing amount of power, and we think this will have to come from systems that can generate energy, rather than simply store it like batteries. Our photosynthetic device doesn't run down the way a battery does because it's continually using light as the energy source. Professor Howe also said that additional study is needed to see how the concept might be scaled up. While it will be years before such technology is applied to common objects, it's fun to imagine a gaming PC powered by aquatic, plant-like creatures like the ones I see on the surface of my local pond. Photosynthesis is a natural way for algae to gather energy from the sun. The method has the potential to be a stable and renewable source of power for tiny gadgets, according to the researchers. The system was built of ordinary, low-cost and most recyclable elements. To power the network of electronic gadgets, sustainable, inexpensive, and decentralized sources of electrical energy are necessary. It seems it's the right thing. It was tested in a household setting as well as a semi-outdoor situations with natural light and temperature changes, and the results were submitted for publication after six months of continuous power generation. The algae-powered ARM processor consumed 0.3 microwatts per hour, indicating that this computer does not require nearly as many watts as a typical PC. While computer power consumption varies depending on a variety of factors, the typical energy usage for a desktop computer is 60 to 250 watts. Moreover, because it produces its own food through photosynthesis, the algae does not require feeding. Even though photosynthesis requires light, the gadget can generate electricity even when it's dark. This, the researchers believe, is due to the algae's ability to metabolize part of its food even when there is no light, resulting in the generation of an electrical current. Although the gadget is still a proof of concept, the research team believes it has the potential to become the future of the Internet of Things devices. The work was part of a bigger field of biophotovoltaics, which focuses on manufacturing clean energy via microorganisms, and the system employing solar power instead of batteries might have a lesser environmental impact. Dr. Paolo Bombelli, one of the authors of the paper, said in a press release, We were impressed by how consistently the system worked over a long period of time. We thought it might stop after a few weeks, but it just kept going. Even though plants absorb just 0.25% of sunlight energy compared to 20% in solar panels, proponents claim that biophotovoltaic energy systems might be inexpensive to create and ecologically benign. They are thinking of enormous lily pads that float on water being coated in algae and used as mobile power stations alongside offshore wind farms in the future. So what do you think about this? Isn't it fascinating? Do express your opinion in the comments below. Having said that, we have reached the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If yes, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And it's high time for you to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on to get all the updates on our works. See you soon. Until then, peace.